Hi everyone, Lady Amalthea here for day 10. We've reached double digits of 31 days of Tarot 2020. How very exciting. So today's prompt is what are some tarot decks that have been lost in your collection that you wish to reconnect with? Now, I'm cheating because I have a pile to my left here of items uh, <laughs> we're going to discuss but um, first the actual prompt so there are uh, I own exactly 12 physical tarot decks um, in addition to a few apps um, and the two tarot decks I'm going to talk about are the line strider by it, now is it Silo Thompson? I'm not sure how you pronounce the creator's name. Now, this person, because I cannot pronounce their name, and I am very sorry, has created a few other gorgeous decks that I really wish to get my hands on, including the Other Kin Tarot, which just, oh, here comes Gims, um, which just looks gorgeous. Um, and I bought Line Strider pretty early into my tarot journey sometime in probably 2017 I would imagine um, just from memory M vague memory I, I can't entirely remember so and I've never actually used it except for in my year ahead draws and there's no actual reason for this because it is stunning. I love the artwork. The book's amazing. Like it's got one of those, you know, fancy magnet box things is, and a huge book. And like the image on the front is the Queen of Cups, which is one of my favorite cards. Um, I just, I love the artwork, but because I've got a few other decks I just haven't taken the time to connect with it so that's one I really want to connect with this year and then the other one um, except there's a bit of a issue with this the other one is the tabula idem which is a majors only deck that was a Kickstarter campaign that comes with a comic book um, now I backed the book and the deck and this came out in, I think, 2017. And every card is by a different artist. I'm not going to name all the artists because there's like so, like, there's 23 artists because um, the idea be behind the tabula item is that it's a queer, radical, LGBTQIA deck that allows us to see ourselves in it, um, us being queer trans folk um, it's body diverse um, and every deck matches a comic uh, sorry every card in the deck matches a comic and some of the creators have no experience with tarot whatsoever some of them are experienced tarot people and the thing is I haven't actually read the comic and I don't have it with me it's with my books interstate so i need the book to arrive so i can kind of read the comic and understand where they're going with the interpretations behind the cards because some of them i believe aren't your standard meanings so i do want to connect with this deck and i have used it for my year ahead draw um but I yeah I really need to connect with the comic in order to um, connect with the deck so that's a, a goal but that just depends on when I get my stuff from over east um, which who knows when that's going to happen so now I'm just going to quickly go through some oracle decks in my collection that I have either never used used once or yeah, you never use or use once or twice in two or three times in some cases. Um, every now and then I go a little crazy and say there's a hay house sale and I buy five decks at once because um, they're $10 each. Or I was at a medica metaphysical fair and you don't even want to know how much I spent on decks. Um, so I'm just going to go through and show you these decks and you'll have an idea of this is this is my collection that I don't use but want to use so 
here we go messages from your spirit animal spirit guides by stephen d farmer who is a lovely man oh my gosh i have met him he's a few times he is so lovely whispers of love this is a gorgeous card deck it's by blue angel publishing aboriginal dreamtime oracle now i have used this deck in an art class and we had a wonderful experience with it and also by the same creator mel brown and published by rockpool aboriginal goddess chakra cards and i thought this would be a good way to connect with in, in the indigenous spirit of this nation Ooh, there's a deck in here that i do use quite a lot oops um the spirit animal oracle by colette baron reed again picked it up in a sale haven't even opened it creature teacher animal wisdom for all ages by scott alexander king picked this up at a metaphysical fair from scott alexander king himself and i think did i get him to sign it yes i did woohoo he's a lovely man too i would have loved to have done some of his courses but they are a bit expensive um earth magic another stephen d farmer deck this is a great deck i just barely ever use it oracle of the unicorns a blue angel deck um it doesn't say on here sorry um oh cordelia francesca brabs gorgeous deck barely use it the viking oracle wisdom of the ancient norse another blue angel deck this is a stacy demarco deck i do have a few of hers um including this one the gospel of aradia stacy demarco blue angel stacy demarco is australian for those of you who aren't familiar with her earth power oracle an atlas for the soul stacy demarco and on the front is a sacred australian site another scott alexander king deck world animal dreaming oracle cards now i can't remember if i picked this one up from him as well yes i did signed in the front oh, it's a bit so what does that say 2017 so i picked this up in 2017 it is 2020 oh lord another one i haven't even opened work your light oracle cards rebecca campbell and danielle noel this is a hay house deck which i bought during a hay house sale something i'm really keen to work with haven't even i started reading the guidebook caroline miss archetype cards another hay house deck i bought on sale animal kin oracle sarah wilder now sarah is australian i believe she's in based in queensland this deck was originally indie published and by i think about the third edition hay house picked it up kawaii tarot by what does that say diana diana lopez I picked this up um, for my birthday. I've done, I pick, I drew a card for my year ahead reading. Haven't opened it yet. The only thing about this deck is it lives in these two little thingies, um, boxes. So I'm going to have to get a pouch and put them together because I, I don't, I don't like, I don't like that. A deck I've already mentioned this year, Blessed Be, Lucy Cavendish. Picked it up last year. Haven't worked with it. Another Stacey DeMarco deck, Gods and Titans. Um, I picked this up from the Pagan Awareness Network. A Lucy Cavendish deck, Oracle of the Dragon Fae. I bought this directly from Lucy herself. She sent it um, with some crystals, which was beautiful. I think I've drawn, done a reading from this once. The Mythic Oracle by Carissa Mulatto and Michelle Lee Fellon. Um, you will know this artwork is the same i'm pretty sure this is the same person who did the dreams of gaia artwork goddesses and sirens stacy demarco blue angel publishing and jimmy manchon who seems to have done most if not all of stacy's decks so the, the pile is now visible on screen and oracle of the mermaids another lucy cavendish deck which i bought from her um i did an oracle course with lucy in 2000 and 16 it was the year my father died and I didn't end up finish it, finishing it because of that. 
I always meant to contact her and ask her if I could have continued at a later date, but I never got around to it and it's much too late now. Um, so yeah, that is a pile of. Oh, and the Connected and Free Oracle deck by Inner Hue. I really need to work with this more because it is gorgeous and it goes so well with Lumina. So this is one, two, three. six decks uh, <laughs> and these are just the ones I am not currently I'm not working with let alone the decks that are in my collection that I did not show you today um, there's mm, quite a few over there and I have another deck on the way and I have itchy fingers for a new deck as well I just need to work with what I have maybe I need to do a depth here and work with what I have Oh my goodness. Oh, I wanted to show off my t-shirt. Is the dog behind me? No, it's not. Baby Yoda! I am off to see The Rise of Skywalker for the second time uh, with my best friend and his wife today. So I thought I'd wear this. Plus I'm going to a Cricut meetup and Cricut is the craft machine that I use to make this shirt. So I try to wear a Cricut item every time I go to the Cricut event and Let's face it, I've worn my Fleetwood Mac Sisters of the Moon t-shirt for the last few times, so I figured I should change it up. So yeah, I'm doing my video a bit earlier today because I've got a big day ahead. Um, not sure if I'll actually get a chance to watch anyone else's videos today. Um, I mean, I've got so much data on my phone, so I, I, I mean, I can while I'm out and about, but we shall see. Um, there was something else I wanted to say and it's totally gone from my head. Um, can't have been that important but yeah I I really need to take the time to work with the decks I already have because I keep adding new decks to my collection and particularly like I showed you my wish list the other day of all the decks and I've added more things to it since um, some of them I won't like I'm not going to end up getting every single deck on that list because like I've even gone through I haven't even gone through and checked them all out in detail. This is just based on people talking about them or seeing one or two images for most decks. Um, in some cases, I'll look at them and go, yeah, that's really not for me, or go, oh my God, yes, or too expensive. Like some decks, particularly um, indie decks, cost a lot of money to get shipped to Australia, which is fine and I understand. Um, we're far away, taxes, blah, blah, blah. but. Um, it certainly makes you think before ordering them. Um, one thing I'm wanting to do this year is to order a few decks and get them sent to my friend in Seattle and have her send them on to me in a parcel of other things she's sending to me um, just to soften the blow of postage a bit. So we'll see how we go with that. That's that's the plan. Um, yeah, I don't think there was anything else. I think that's it. I think I've talked enough. Oh, I got nine of swords today as my daily draw. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting day. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, um, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'm slowly catching up on comments. I'm so sorry I'm not faster at this. I am just overwhelmed by the amount of comments. I have not watched anything but YouTube videos for, like, nine days. That's all I've been watching. <laughs> so it's a lot of comments um, and I try and comment on most videos I watch um, and I'm like oh my goodness there's just so much good content out there and I haven't even watched any uh, like I've watched maybe one or two non 31 days of tarot videos um, this video is getting out of control long so I'm going to stop myself from talking I'm going to pick a deck to take with me today and to focus my energies on and I'm going to say thank you so much to everyone for watching and much love many blessings and until tomorrow